Hey, good morning, it is Bruce, and today I'm out on my bike again. And the reason I'm out on my bike is because I'm going to try to take revenge on a mountain that actually beat me on Thursday. So this past Thursday, just a few days ago, I attempted to ride my road bike up Weissenstein. Weissenstein is a pretty um, serious climb, I guess, in my opinion anyway. It averages 12% gradient. Uh, I don't remember the distance, it's not super far at all, but it's about 12%. Uh, but there are parts that are much steeper than 12% and some parts that are almost flat. So, um, in my opinion, it's pretty hard. I just got done doing Alpe d'Huez, the real one in, in France, just uh, less than a week ago, or actually about a week ago. And uh, I think that is easier than this one. So, uh, I think this is considered hard. I think it's fair to consider this one a hard climb. And uh, anyway, I failed to make it up uh, up there last uh, Thursday on my road bike. Now, I've been up there twice with my mountain bike, but that's because it has lower gears. I hope that's the reason. I hope it's not that my fitness is crap, but um, yeah, basically, I've, I've never made it up there with my road bike, so I tried to do it Thursday. I didn't get very far at all before I just realized this is not going to happen. This is too difficult. Basically, I convinced myself that I had the wrong gears and that just it wasn't reasonable to even try. So I just gave up. Uh, but last night I went into my shop and put on a 32 tooth cassette on the back instead of the 25 they had before. So I think that's gonna make the difference and allow me to actually complete this climb. I did do a video in my shop last night while I was putting the uh, cassette on the bike, but honestly it's just weird rambling so I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that video footage. Right now I'm in Solitorn City, which is just uh, maybe 10 more minutes till the start of the climb. The hard thing about this climb too though, I didn't mention, is that just to reach it, you're al you already take quite a climb just to reach the part where Strava starts counting. I'm gonna say my strategy is to take it really easy on the way up, just so I don't get burned out at all, and I can start the climb fresh. Hopefully with these gears, and with a little luck, I can make it to the top. It's super hot today, I think around, uh, it's gonna be 34 degrees Celsius, I read, but right now it's only 12 o'clock, so maybe we're at 28 or something, I'm not really sure, but it's pretty hot, I'm already sweating a lot. But um, anyway, I'm gonna get going on this, uh, this ride, and uh, I'll try to pop the camera out as I'm going up so you can see how much I'm suffering. All right, bye. Okay, I am probably about 100 meters from the starting point, and I'm just taking a little break to bring my heart rate down. It was like up to 165, and just cool down a little bit. It's already been one hour riding. I've already been riding one hour, I mean, and I've already gone up like 250, 260 meters of climbing, and it's super hot. According to my Garmin, it's 31 point something degrees. So, this is gonna be a hard ride, but I think with the low gears, I think I'll be able to do it. I'm just gonna wait like one more minute, like 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna get on the road and go. Uh, when I tried to do this ride last Thursday, it was so incredibly hard. I had almost forgotten in just a few days how difficult it was, but here I am again, and now I'm reminded. I remember coming up one of these switchbacks last Thursday, and my heart rate was like 186, which is getting close to my max. Like I think this year, I, max I ever did was like 190. So it's getting really, really in the red zone. And uh, I, I came around this, uh, this switch back, it was, it was very steep. And I just remember thinking, okay, if it levels out a little bit, then I'll be able to uh, keep, keep going, I think, and like bring my heart rate back down into the 170s at least. But uh, it, was, it was so um, defeating when I made that corner. And I just saw this looked like a huge wave, you know, it just went up and up and up and up, it was very steep. That's almost when I called it quits. I just kept going a little bit further and then turned around. So I'm almost feeling like a little bit of anxiety getting ready to start this again because I'm now I'm remembering how terrible it was. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think we'll be able to make it today. We'll see. I hate to record this. But to be honest, I have to. I stopped. I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna make it a top. Hang on. I'm gonna make it to the top, but I gotta take a break. I think I'm less fit than I was 
a year or two ago because I have the gears now. This part here isn't even that steep compared to what was at the beginning, but I'm just so worn out now, I have to stop. I'm only gonna stop one minute, I'm gonna get going. Well, I'm near the top, I'm only 150 meters maybe from the top. Oh my gosh, I'm finished. 100, 100 meters to go. It's flattened out a bit. Here we go. PR 46 46. My god, I gotta go die. Okay, well, I finished the ride and it was pretty much extremely hard. I don't know if it's because I'm not as fit as I was before, I don't know if it's the bike or if be just because it's incredibly hot today. But I'm really happy because I did make it up and actually I made it up like a minute and a half faster than my previous best. I'm still not happy with how I did it, having to stop once and like walk another time and just be in complete misery for most of the ride. But nevertheless, I did do it, so I'm happy about that. Uh, now I'm just getting ready to descend on down and uh, that's about it. Go home and uh, call it a day.